everybody! Top of morning! My name's Jasseptikai! Welcome back to Meme Time! <laughs> it's Meme Time! It's Meme Time! Gather all your friends! It's Meme Time! It's Meme Time! It's Meme Time! The only cure for sadness! Everybody out there watching right now! Hello! Welcome! Tis Meme Time! The happiest time of your day! So savor it! You don't want this to just be over. You don't want to be watching this and just kind of like having it on in the background. Like you want to really pay attention to this. This is really important stuff. You got to get this in your day or your day's ruined. Also, check out this graph. Look at this graph. How many of you out there are watching right now without subscribing? How dare you try and free it? It's like, it's like you're pirates stealing the content. Subscribe! Anyway. <laughs> Pewds is scared. The first first Swedish Viking and Irish Viking to see each other be like, where did Jack get that axe? <laughs> Let's go to war! Let's pillage some villages! I'm ready! Just like all the other Vikings of old when they wore beanies. <laughs> Excuse me, um, I'm a Viking. Can I come raid your house? Can I just steal all your stuff? Please. I didn't really want to be part of it, but my dad did it and his dad did it for a long generation, so... Felix is just scared because I'm a- I'm an actual Viking. I have the strength and the looks for it. He's just Ned Flanders looking ass. Oh, God. Making another potato Sean like I did last time? No, no, no. Making Sean Bean. <laughs> Wait, there's a second picture? Ah, oh, the template! There you go! <laughs> this is wrong! I don't like this. I mean, I like being Sean Bean. That's clever. A plus on the on the pun, but <laughs> I'm getting upset. Haha. <laughs> Very good. Now make it out of top of the morning beans. You can get it at topofthemorningcoffee.com. We have a subscription now where you can get the coffee every month. It's whatever, guys. <laughs> anyway, Let's go to the next meme. Uh oh! Stinky alert! Uh oh! The stink bell! Uh oh! Here come the Vikings to. to kill your repost! How dare you come out here and try and steal Neo Alex's work? Look at that beautiful picture! Look at that! And they're even holding it in the picture. That's how you know that they deserve upvotes. But if I see reposts on my subreddit, I'm coming! I'll chop you down! I may not be able to see what's going on, but I'll get you! Yeah, bruh, this is mine, stinky reposter, it's okay. It hath been removed by moderators, but Neo Alex, you a real one, and I appreciate your art. You've done a lot of fantastic art in this community, but if anyone tries to steal it from you... I'll get upset and I'll come to your house and I'll burn it down! Okay, I won't really. Please don't demonetize me or something. God. Are you kidding me? Another repost removed by moderators. When you're a pirate. Arr! Whoever made up that joke first, I love you. That's a great joke. I prefer being a viking, but a pirate is pretty cool too. I have kind of a hair eye patch going on, so I guess that counts. First scene here. Let's go. There we go. First post, have a meme by Optimal Furry. <coughs> Thank you very much. Good meme, A+. Plus. I like it quite a bit. But if you post stuff that other people have posted just to try and get some stinky karma, just so you can get into meme time and feel good about yourself for five minutes. Now I'm gonna make you feel terrible about yourself. <laughs> Don't steal each other's work! My pillaging hands are tingling! Oh, look at that sweet boy! A portrait of BB for Sean. This is so cute! Oh my god, look at the reflections in his eyes! This is nuts! Oh, and his little paws. I love when he sits down and he does this. And he just sits there loafing. He's like, hello, father. It is good to be in your company. So cute. 10 out of 10 cat. He's- it's winter time now as well, so he's getting all fluffy. He's getting all poofy and his mane is kicking in. And he looks like a little lion. But he's so soft and fluffy and warm. It's so nice to just have him right here, like a little potato. Thank you, Creating Jamie. I really like it. That's- that's phenomenal work. Thank you so much. You see this bell? I'm a fucking ring it! Oh, feels good! Oh, it feels real good to be a child. You got it all. 
You got Jacksepticeye. You got anime. You got a bell meme. A plus. You got a locking award. I can't help but look. The, my face went meme. I can't believe the shit I'm seeing. <laughs> Please don't hate me for this, Jack. <laughs> it really does look like that. Damn. <laughs> what, is it, what does it look like now? What are my eyebrows doing now? Artists, go to work. Get those shapes in. What did the wrinkles on my head say? Can you tell the future with them? Sean McHawklin. <laughs> Sean McFalcon. <laughs> and then just the good old Sean McCock. Oh no, Sponsor Eagle has got him. Look, I'm not sponsored by anything. Except good old top of the morning coffee. You can get yours today. It's in the store, it's readily available. <laughs> also, we... We have really nice mugs as well. Look, Satan, I've done what you want. Please, just let my family go. I plugged the coffee twice already. I told him to look at the graph and to subscribe to the channel. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Approximately seven years apart. There goes my dreams of one day breaking Hollywood. <laughs> Jesus, this is a weird picture to look at. First of all, yes, I did it. Uh, number one actor, Jacksepticeye here. You will see me in such movies as Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds very, very soon. I'm very excited for you all to watch it. Um, you can see my act- See my acting chops in high gear. But also, am I the only one who thinks that those look like two completely different people? And now look at me here. It looks like a different person again. <laughs> What's happening to me? Uh, Jacksepticeye, the man of many faces. My man's back here was trying to grow a beard. He was trying so hard and he wouldn't just let it, let it grow, let it grow. And back in the cabin, when I had absolutely nothing to my name, living in a cabin whose walls were like this thick and it would freeze in the winter and the frost would come in on the inside up the walls and I'd be sitting in my blankets, listening to the wind, worried that it would blow the roof off of the cabin. You've come a long way, Shawnee boy. A very long way. Proud of you. When Among Us YouTubers find out that IQ is a spectrum from 1 to 200 and you can't be 3000 IQ big brain. Confused Irish screaming. <gasps> what? A score of 116 or more is considered above average. A score of 130 or higher signals a high IQ. Mother of God. Mathematician Terence Tao is said to have an IQ of 220 to 230. 220 to 230! Who's schooling who now? Look, some Among Us players do be breaking that barrier. They be going beyond 200. All the way into the stratosphere of intelligence. Now, me, your boy, I like to keep things nice and normal so I'm relatable to people. Um, I like to dumb myself down for myself. So I can understand the garbage thoughts that go through my brain. Haha. <laughs> me stinky. Look, just let Toast have his titles. That's all it's about. I click on them because I think, man, how can he, how can he keep getting so smart? Jack playing by himself, super smart, scientist man. Jack playing with Mark, Bob and Wade. Now, see, there is a, an element of this equation that I feel like you have to factor in as to why we get to the result of picture two. There are certain variables within that sentence that lead us to nail in head brain. Let's see if the class can figure it out. Let's see if the class can figure out the elements in this equation that have led us to the variable of Jack equal dumb. Honestly, I feel like when any YouTubers play with other people, it's just like, the uh, what? <laughs> it's hard to concentrate when there's so many voices going on. And it's LOL funny. <laughs> I like being haha. -ha. Also, this is wildly inaccurate. Me on my own? Smart? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, these reflections are awesome. Me who's watching it for 144p. <laughs> oh man. I I'm so sorry if any of you ever have to watch YouTube videos in 144p. You're basically just listening to the video then at that point. I'm trying to make out the shapes. It's like trying to watch the video underwater. For future Let's Plays, I'll start just like describing absolutely everything that's happening every time. So all of you people with really bad internet can understand what's happening. I feel you. I remember, again, being back in that cabin, having... What was it? It was like 0.5 megs upload speed? Oh, Megan. <laughs> um, and having... I think I had like two down speed? So I could barely watch anything in like 
more than 360p quality. It was awful. And even then I had to wait for it to buffer. I remember I used to like load movies online. And back in the day, they didn't buffer as they went. They would just buffer the entire thing. And then you could like close your laptop and then open it again later. And the whole thing would still be there because it just loaded it into your browser. I don't know how that works. But I would be in college and I would load like three movies all on browsers. And then I would close my laptop and then watch them on the bus on the way home or watch them back at home because I didn't have good internet to be able to watch them. I relate so heavily. The first thing I saw when I opened YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey Felix, what you doing? I don't know what are you doing. Similar brain, huh? Eight minutes apart from each other. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how many views some YouTubers get in such a short amount of time. Good for you guys. That is crazy. This de this describes so much about me and my channel. Just this one picture. Pewds looking down on Sean. Sean looking up to Pewds. Always has been. Always has been. This is us judging any videos in between us. So if you have a sub feed where these videos didn't go up like this and there's stuff in the middle of it, that's us judging it. I'm judging the videos above me and Felix is judging the videos below him. Ah, fuck, that's mine! <laughs> oh, shiny reflections. I really like the story behind the game. Smash Red! I take all elements of games. It's just that the reflections in Spider-Man were so obvious and that was one of the key selling features of the game that I had to show them off and it was surprising me. They were really cool. Shut up! I buy a mirror, I just put it in my house and I'm like, Whoa, look at those reflections! <laughs> look at the lighting in this, that's nuts! Oh, bruh! The RTX in this mirror is crazy! Look at the ray tracing! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! <laughs> me, look, someone cleaning their monitor! And it's like, wow, good, and me, look at those reflections! <laughs> Whoa, I can see myself in it! Next generation, baby! This is also great. I love this art style. I love these types of comics as well. Just the single, or the simple three frame or four frame comics. Or four panel. I love that. Keep making those. I love them so much. So you like Jacksepticeye? Name every video. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> and the first thing I see is, don't believe the boobs, drugs heal all, apparently. <laughs> Are those videos on my channel? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Six years ago, mental torment, don't believe the boobs. Oh, because yeah, they were naked in it. VR boobs? Very epic. <laughs> all the girls. A real bow and arrow. Be a dick to your friends. My Irish snake. I ate a badger. Clearly, I have peaked. Clearly, my <laughs> titling was so much better back in the day when demonetization and everything wasn't a problem. I love eating chicken. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is apparently uploaded by someone called... Scenevids or Cenevids? I'm sorry if I pronounced your thing wrong, uh, but very good. I, I appreciate this. Thank you. 145 views. Really? This is top tier talent right here. Go. Go subscribe. <sighs> Imagine thinking Sean wasn't joking. All right. So I wanted to talk about this a little bit because this, this blew up way more than I thought it would and probably way more than it should have. People... I, I posted this tweet saying, imagine not having a PS5 with a laughing Tom Cruise uh, picture. It's a really old meme template. It's really overdone. I thought it was a really stupid joke to make. Uh, but people got very mad about this. Some people, not everyone. A lot of people thought that this joke was me making fun of people who couldn't afford a PlayStation 5, that I was poor shaming people. Which, I feel like if you know me at all, and doing this for so long, and showing so much of my personality for so long, you know that I would never ever do that. That's not what this joke was about. I was messaging, like, Felix and PJ in private, and we were talking about how they couldn't get a PS5 because it was- they were all sold out everywhere. Like, the stock of PS5s were just gone everywhere because scalpers were assholes and they they just bought them all up. So the joke was more about the the stock 
of PS5s that you literally can't get one. And I had talked about how we have multiple in this house because I bought one. I pre-ordered one when they went up immediately off Amazon and so did Evelyn. So they arrived recently, but I also got one sent to me from Sony, which I didn't know was going to happen uh, when I pre-ordered one. So then I ended up with two of them. Um, and I thought that that was really silly that I had two and some people couldn't even get one. So I was making fun of myself more than anything with this, saying that <laughs> I have two and some people don't have one. Like, imagine not having one. Um, and like, I, I was trying to make myself the butt of the joke because it was going around. People were like poking fun at the fact that I had multiple of them. And even then, PJs hadn't arrived. So I gave PJ the second one that I had. So, I, I still only have one PlayStation here for myself, and it's like for work and for business and for doing YouTube. But a lot of people thought that I was making fun of uh, people who couldn't afford a PS5. And because of the pandemic that we're in, and because of the economy that we're in, and a lot of people don't have the money readily available that they once had, like, I absolutely understand that and I sympathize with that. I, I completely deleted the tweet because I felt like I... Like, me posting that, I never wanted to hurt anybody with that. I never meant it maliciously at all. I I just posted something dumb to try and make fun of myself, and it, it got twisted and changed and everything. And I just don't want to hurt people. I don't want people to feel bad over stuff that I'm posting, so I just deleted the whole thing because... I don't know, it sucks to think that I can post something like that and some people will actually feel bad about the situation they're in because of a dumb joke, and I... I just don't want people to feel bad at all. I think what sucks most about something like this is that so many articles were written saying that I was cancelled on Twitter because of this. Um, but what's worse is that I, I can do this for eight years. We just passed eight years on the channel and I feel like I've been pretty genuine, pretty honest and pretty transparent with the type of person that I am. And my character and my morals, I feel like I've owned up to stuff when I've messed things up. But it feels like... It, all it takes is one tweet and one joke and people completely forget about your character and who you are as a person and everything is taken within isolation like this and then it gets retweeted and some people who have no idea who I am see that retweet on somebody else's account and it's passed around so many different times that by then it doesn't matter. People just like to see something and then jump to conclusions on it and that that's really sad to see. And what's especially concerning is that I, I've done so many charity streams where we've tried to help out people all the time and I never want to bring that up and be like Well, I've done all these charity events because I don't want to be that guy And I feel like you should just do the charity events for the sake of doing them And the fact that they're a good thing to do and you should do it out of the goodness of your heart Which I always try and do But I feel like that has to count for something in these types of conversations When it comes to people accusing me of poor shaming people like, it just sucks to see none of that kind of stuff sort of be brought in. And a lot of people did defend me and a lot of people did say, like, this is silly, clearly he was joking. And I, I appreciate that side of things. But the fact that it can go so far and people can write articles just saying Jacksepticeye was cancelled on Twitter, it blows my mind. It's so ridiculous. But if this tweet did hurt you in any way, shape or form, I absolutely apologize. That, of course, was never my intention with something like this. And that is why I ultimately deleted it, because there's just no point having that on the internet if people are upset about it. So, I'm sorry. Anyway, back to the memes, I guess. <laughs> Santa better wear a mask this year. I, I wrote this as well, but then after consideration, I was like, maybe Santa should just not come near my house. <laughs> maybe Santa should just stay away. But... People did say online that Santa is clear, that they are a necessary business, and that they are immune because they have Santa bodies. And I think that that is absolutely precious, and I love it. <laughs> Mirror companies after inventing Jack Kepticeye. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow! Look at those reflections! That's crazy, bro! Buys a million mirrors. <laughs> Am I the only one still waiting? If we reach 200,000 likes, I will see how far I can shove this bell up my ass. <laughs> Yikes. Turns out, I got it pretty far up there. You can't even tell. Listen. It hurts. <laughs> they all have hosted meme review. Now it is time for the Irish lad. 
Look, I told Felix that I would if he wants me to. There's no pressure. It's whatever. I guess it just means that we're not friends. Like if I if I don't get to host his meme review show on his YouTube channel, are we even friends at all? Does that not count for something? God, I'm gonna unfollow him on Facebook. God damn it! <laughs> I watched this video back and this was even annoying me. I was like, why is my like mustache beard hair all crinkled like that? <laughs> is it okay now? Are we good? Or my, is the hair on my body doing anything weird today? Huh? Can we make more memes about my hair? Being sponsored by Coca-Cola? Making your own coffee company and sponsoring yourself. Double the profit. Guys! Have I told you about top of the morning coffee? Whole bean? Pre-ground beans? Mugs? Subscriptions? We even have hot chocolate now! It's crazy! Look, it's been three times now. Can you just put them on the phone so I can hear their voices and I know they're okay? I tried, man. I tried to get Coca-Cola to sponsor us. I really did. We reached out to them, got no response. I'm probably not the most family-friendly person to be sponsored by Coca-Cola. One of the most safe advertising companies in the entire world. So, I get it. I just wish they'd sort of like slide something our way. I didn't even get like a case of coke. I didn't get anything. I got- I got like a medal on Twitter, I think. We take this kind of commitment very seriously, Jack. Give this guy a medal. Coca-Cola. Same great coke taste, but with zero sugar. Now with a hint of added vanilla. This is my legacy. It's not a real medal. Uh, I can't physically touch it. But it's digital, so it's on the internet forever. Thank you, Coca-Cola Ireland. Taking care of your own. Thank you so much. Wait till one day when Coca-Cola wants to be sponsored by Top of the Morning Coffee. It'll happen. I will will it into existence. Oh, look at him. Look at this little man. He's so cute. He was making biscuits on me. He's just lying there and he, he needing some dough. Evelyn had gone to bed already and I was up playing games, you know, as I am. Hashtag gamer, what up? And then he just came over and lay on me and I was like, oh. I immediately stopped playing games and started taking pictures instead because it never happens. This is sheer excitement. This is genuine emotion in my face right here. <laughs> I was so afraid to move in case he left and then he like fell asleep for like five minutes. Oh! It is precious. God is real. Jack liking it to eat from top of the Morin coffee. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I gotta take care of my own, alright? <laughs> That's the beauty of having two accounts. Stonks. Post something on top of the Morin account, then like it on my account, and maybe give it a cheeky retweet. Marketing. They're gonna be studying me for a while. In advertising college, they're gonna pull up a book. Dedicated all to how Top of the Morning Coffee came to be. And what a genius. 200 IQ. I remember. Genius Jacksepticeye was. Have I talked about coffee enough? Is that enough for one video? Is it getting annoying yet? <laughs> ah, yes. My favorite Jacksepticeye quote. <gasps> ah! All right, sweet baby. Mimi Dreamers, that's gonna do it for this episode of Meme Time. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, the place is really starting to fill up. There's a lot of people on the subreddit now. Thank you all for showing up, including you. All of you guys like in the back there. It's just so nice to see you all here. I really look forward to recording Meme Times. It's a nice way of just interacting with community and seeing what you guys are up to and seeing what is relatable in the videos that week. So thanks for being here, seriously and genuinely. I appreciate all of you guys and it's, it's so lovely to be able to do this kind of stuff all the time, so thanks. But until next time, I hope that you all take care of yourselves. And I know the sadness will set in soon, but we'll always have the memories.